Tal. Let me, let me see if I'm live. Give me a second to do my phone checks stuff. Hang on. I seem to be live. Let's see if I go here. Yeah, I do have audio. So let's do this. So I'm answering a question to a Facebook group that I'm a member of. The person here, Charles, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is requesting, he says his English isn't good, but he's requesting something. He's trying to add a text widget and somehow select the current date. And it's not working for some reason. Um, I have to refresh myself. Is there a way to do it dynamically? So unless I misunderstood the question, what he actually wants is he or she, because I can't tell from the name, and I'm sorry. Um, so what I think they want, and I'm going to use a local installation to show this. I think what they wanted, and if you look at the format, it says I wanted to say Paris, comma, the time. My assumption is what they want <coughs> is a ticking clock. And I, I can remove the seconds if they don't want them, because in his example, he doesn't want seconds. And I'll, I'll show the code if I have to. But um, basically, I assume what he wants is, is the time to be sort of changing without even refreshing it, if that makes sense, the page. So what I did here was I used two and I'll, I'll actually, I'm going to, I'm going to add the code to a blog post of mine. But for now, let me just show you what I did here. So what I used is basically, if you look at the Elementor Navigator, the only thing I have is literally two HTML uh, fields. And the reason I I guess I used two was just because I find it more, um, more logical. I need this element, and I'll explain why. This is where the output is being outputted, and it's basically just a div that has an ID of clock. Because in the code, if one goes and looks, first of all, I include jQuery because it may not be included. That's the first thing I do. Then I write a function that's called update clock, which is the function that runs every one second to update the seconds. Now, in this person's case, it seems like he doesn't really want the seconds. So I can probably just remove that variable. Um, I'll, I'll explain what all these are. Basically. This gets the current time from the server. And then um, using the functions get hours, get minutes, and get seconds, you can decide what you want to get. Then all I do is create. Um, so initially, the way I was doing it was I was creating the clock with AM, PM. But since the user doesn't need this, uh, I left the code here in case in case someone decides to do uh, padding with zeros and use AM and PM. But in this case, as you can see, I've commented out the bar that says time of day, and it's not included within within my output. Where I've um, this is just to convert the hours to either zero to twelve based off of what you want it to be. So per the user's request, the the variable that he wants, this is Paris, let's say. Um, and then the word Paris and then a space, a comma, space, so that's not all stuck together. And then I just output what I have, current hours, 
a double dot, current minutes, double dot, and the current seconds. Now, in this case, the user doesn't want the current seconds, so I can just remove this. Okay. And if I up the, oh, I left in the double dot, which you also doesn't need, he or she. So there we go. That's basically what they want. Now, he does say, uh, Seven fifty-one. I don't know. It weirds me out um, when I'm not using a twenty-four hour uh, sort of sort of a system. But let's say that we don't want a twenty. Although it doesn't make sense to have um, to not have AM or PM when you don't have the twenty-four hour system. But for now, let's just let's just um, assume that this is for me for example i would use the 12 hour system so i would say uh var current where is it current time boom, boom. so as you can see i've um taken this out but if i put it back in you'll see that that goes to 752 which makes more sense, but if you need, if you were going to say 7:52, right, um, then you would need AM PM to be on the end. So you can do that by saying, uh, I need to add the the AM PM next to that. So if I were to add it, for example, I would do. Um, I'm not watching the chat, which is quite weird, but. Um, Let's say I want to AM PM because it's not logical to have like a 12 hour without the actual designation of AM or PM, at least in English. I don't know what country this person is from. Maybe they don't use AM PM. I don't know. Um, so let's let's find AM PM. Just uh, where did I stick it? Where did I put it? So uh current ah so i need to put the variable time of day in here which i had before because it makes sense to me to actually have it uh so let's say he doesn't want the seconds that's fine but for oops sorry i needed to copy that um so i could for example say okay uh now i need the current minutes plus whatever this is plus whatever this is and then I, I might want to put in a space before or something, and you do spaces by doing uh, double quotes with a space in between. Uh, and then I should add a plus here. So now it says Paris 754 p.m. because obviously it's nighttime. But for some reason this user doesn't want this, so I'm, I'm just going to remove it. So I'm removing it, removing it, I'm removing it. And I'm commenting out the variable because it's not defined. So basically, this is what this user wants. Um, I don't remember now if I showed the, I guess, the 24 hour. If you want the 24 hour, you would have to uncomment um, the line of code that says, Boom, 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 boom. Where did I leave it? So, for me to do it in a 24 hour format, I would have to comment outline. I would have to like take away the comments for this line so that time of day. So, Right to this right. I missed something here. Did I miss something here? Let me. Ah, I have to actually do this. Hang on. I must have missed something somewhere. Ah, there we are. So now I'm back to 24 hour, which basically 
I had to just um, leave it as is. And I don't have the seconds, but let's say that we don't want 24 hours for some reason. So, so now I need to remove the 24 hour thing, which means that I should go down to my comments and sort of say, ah, you know what? Uh, wait. Okay, how? Current, current. So now for us to do the add the minutes with zeros, that's fine. Just the name of PM, I don't really need that. Uh, I can do this here on line 17 to define whether or not. Um, I want 24 hours or 12 hour format. Um, I would add AM PM, but that's what it is. So this is basically what the user requested. And if I, I'm just gonna copy this code. If I update this and I go to the actual page, then what I get, you can't see the seconds, so you can't actually tell it's moving. So now we have to wait to see it change. So give it a while. I don't know. That's why I used the seconds. So I could actually tell if it's moving. Um, but as you can see, I don't see any JavaScript errors in my console, so it should move in a second. Give it a while. Uh, let's see if it actually moves. I don't know how far off we are, and I don't know what my server clock says, because I don't have the seconds. Uh, we'll just wait. There it is, moved. So it works. I would use seconds just to be able to see that it actually moves, but you don't have to refresh the page. That's the rule of So that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to leave a link to a blog post on my blog. I do Divi stuff mostly, but I also work with um, clients that have Elementor. So, and I'm obviously part of this community, so I um, decided just to do this for fun. Uh, show people that it can be done with HTML elements. Uh, you don't need a plugin, you just need to know a bit of jQuery and trick elements into thinking it. The hard part is you have to take these two HTML uh, elements and copy them to wherever you want to place the clock. Um, the, the second HTML element, the element with the just with the um, div inside, you can you can copy uh, to where you want the time to be displayed. The other bit that has the loads of jQuery functionality and stuff inside that, um, that just has to be on the page somewhere. Preferably before the element, but it doesn't really matter. That's all, I hope this helped. Uh, and if this wasn't what you require, then feel free to explain more and maybe if I feel like it, I'll make another video on this, but it, but it seemed like based on the request, you wanted the time to be displayed with the word Paris in front of it, and then comma, and then the time without any seconds and without the AM PM, but you wanted to dynamically change. Um, that's the only way I can think of, of doing it because you need to be able to get the current time from the server, which by the way, um, currently I'm using my local host, so it's actually using my computer's server time. So if the time is wrong here, um, that means that your server time is not the same time as the time that you want. So, yeah. I hope this helped in some way, shape, or form. If you need any further assistance, then uh, I'll, um, I'll try and help. But I think this will cover the request. The link to the post and the source code and all that um, will be in the description of this video. So... Feel free to comment and, you know, tell me if I misunderstood the request or anything like that. So talk to you soon.